Hey, South Jersey, I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. Happy New Year to you all. It's our first of many broadcasts here for 2020 and the decade ahead, of course. And now that we are in 2020, we can look back to 2019, where we find it in the fifth position for the hottest year on record at Atlantic City International Airport. And look at the top four, 2018, 2017, 2012, and 2011. All the top five occurred in just the past decade. Seven of the top 10 all occurred in the past decade as well. Let's take you over to Ocean City. A couple of people walking along the boardwalk. We have a bicyclist as well. Mostly sunny sky, but we are clouding up as we go into the afternoon here. Temperatures are milder, though. We will sit around 50 degrees for our high. And then we get a three-part storm system that will be taking us through Friday and Saturday. First piece is in the deep south. Second piece is just getting into Texas. And our third piece is in the Pacific Northwest. Now, what's going to happen is this first piece comes tonight, brings rain. That second piece will follow behind it and continue to bring rain and enhance the rain Friday night into Saturday. And then this third piece is going to make a cross-country journey, bringing cold air and even a little bit more moisture by the time we get towards Saturday. And we will cool down as we go into Sunday. And maybe we see a little bit of snow on the back end of the system as it ends on Saturday evening. So here's our storm timeline. Rain begins 1 to 3 a.m. tonight from the shores of the Delaware Bay over to Long Beach Island. It's a steady rain for the morning and through the morning commute. And then we're mostly dry after 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. So the afternoon more dry than not, but still going to have a wet ground around. Rain ramps back up with that second piece during Friday evening. And then Saturday, not a complete washout. But if you are looking for a good dry slot, on during the day on Saturday, I can't really find that for you. It's going to be scattered throughout the day. And then that rain is gone during the evening. And yes, it could flip over to a little bit of snow, but no accumulation is expected. For today, temperatures around 50 degrees. It's a mild day. We are clouding up, though, with a high blanket of clouds overhead. But still, daytime planner, everything is looking good. And as we go into tonight, low temperatures will actually bottom out during the early evening. And then we rise on a strong southerly flow. Clouds increase, and we will see that rain begin between 1 to 3 a.m and it's steady for the morning here. Then we go on the Friday. Temperatures milder with the rain. You notice that southwesterly wind turning to the west. Again, steady until the late morning or midday and then very spotty afterwards, but still going to remain pretty gloomy. Here's our mainland seven day forecast. Rain on Saturday may end as a little bit of snow. We'll call it conversational snowflakes, not really going to stick. Then we go into Sunday where temperatures actually fall throughout the day. So we have the Eagles game coming up as we go into our day on Sunday. Temperatures in the 30s at Lincoln Financial with wind chills in the 20s. Sounds about right. And then we're pretty much around seasonable as we go into the rest of the week at the shore. Same story here. Temperatures in the 50s for Friday and Saturday, falling into the 40s as we go into Sunday and for the rest of the week. For the latest in South Jersey weather, just like you have in 2019, 18, and 17, you can find me on social media, Facebook and Instagram at JoeMarkWX, Twitter at AC Press Martucci, and our Something in the Air newsletter comes out tonight, and you can find all of that by signing up at pressofac.com slash weather.